Are you learning English? Hmm? Me? Yeah, I am. Do you want three letters that will help you sound more like a native? Just three letters? Mm hmm. Just three letters. OMG? No. Nope. LOL? No. Nope. WTF? No. The three letters are. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Before we start this video, be sure to subscribe because we make new videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any. So with that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, okay, we know why you're here. You've heard that there are three little letters that will help you sound more like a native. Well, wait no more, I am here to tell you. Now, if you're watching this video, you are probably at a place with your English where you are learning new words all the time, you feel pretty confident with some new vocabulary, but you just want to sound a bit more like a native, like a normal person. Well, this is what you need to use. Take an adjective, any adjective. Let's use the adjective handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. Now, if you want to alter this adjective a little bit, we can say very handsome, we can say extremely handsome, we can say a a little bit handsome and we've got all of these words that we can use to change that adjective and make it stronger or less strong. However, what natives use are the three letters I-S-H, ish. Yes, a lot of native speakers walk around sounding like Sean Connery. Ish, 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 Miss Moneypenny, look at the fish, Miss Moneypenny. Now what does ish mean? Ish means Kind of, a little, not so much, not a lot, meh, it's that kind of feeling. So we can use ish if you want to say that someone is a little bit something, but not a lot. So let's use it with handsome. So I might ask you, oh, this guy, is he handsome? And you might reply with, he's handsome-ish. So we can put ish at the end of an adjective, not at the beginning, at the end to mean, yeah, a little bit, but I'm not sure about this adjective description. Eh. So if someone describes you as handsome-ish, it's not exactly a huge compliment. It's like the person doesn't want to fully commit to that description of you. They don't want to say, yes, that person is handsome. They just want to say, I guess a little bit. What's the matter? Are you cold? Uh, I'm cold-ish. Guys, uh, is this jumper black or is it bluish? Looks a bit bluish. We might say the man had greyish hair. It's not fully grey. I don't want to commit to that description. I don't want to say yes, his hair was grey because it's not fully grey. It's got parts of grey in it. So it's greyish, not fully grey. So that's one way we can use ish. You can put it at the end of an adjective. But some people also just use ish on its own, like this. Wow, you've got a new job. Are you happy? Um, ish. I wish I was paid more, to be honest. How's the food? Is it spicy? <sighs> um, ish. So if someone asks you if someone or something is adjective, you can reply with ish. It's like saying somewhat, a little bit, meh. Now, is this formal, is it informal? You can use it in any context, really, um, but a bit like anything, you've got to think about what you're saying and who you're saying it to. If you're in a job interview and the interviewer asks you, are you hardworking? Probably don't reply with, ish because it makes it sound like you're not very hard working. I wouldn't use this in formal writing. So for a university dissertation or a job application or something extremely formal in writing, I wouldn't use it. But in an informal email or a text or anything like that, you are absolutely fine to use it. It's not rude, it's not informal, it's just something that's a bit more modern than other English words. Now, you might have heard ish in some different contexts. For example, <laughs> English, smashing English. So, in this sense, the suffix ish means belonging to. So, English, belonging to England. 
Danish belonging to Denmark. Ish can also mean having the characteristics of something. For example, sheepish, acting a little bit like a sheep. <laughs> or childish, acting like a child. <laughs> so you might hear the suffix ish in lots of other contexts too. But as English teachers, none of our students use it in the way we've taught you today. If you start implementing it into your day-to-day -day speech, it will really help you to sound more like a native. And we hope this video was useful. Well, useful-ish. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can do so there. And if you want a one-to-one -one online English lesson with me or Bez, the link for that is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Ta-ta.